Hey everybody, Doug Schulze with the ITOM Ranger Group. Um, here to talk about Discovery Better Practice. This is the last in our video series around what you can do to help make sure your discovery application is up to snuff and really helping the business manage and maintain uh, their environment. In this video, we're gonna be talking about configuration item health. Uh, so this is the data that we're bringing in and making sure that we keep it good quality and providing value to your customers, your consumers, the folks that really manage and maintain um, your incident problem change processes and the first ones to complain with the loudest voices and they're always heard first of hey this data I don't trust the CMDB is a mess um, we don't it's old it's stale whatever the million other reasons they may give and many times very valuable feedback to understanding we're not getting the goods that we were promised and what can we do as discovery administrators to help manage and maintain that? Now, fairly, in a big enough, in a larger organizations, you're going to have an entire seem to be ownership group. It's really going to be the ones responsible to manage and maintain this. Um, but in some worlds, and I'm looking out, th out there, uh, many friends that I've come across, it's also your job too. Not only as discovery admin, maybe managing integrations and such, but also managing and maintaining the CMDB. So we got to do our part. And also it's just making sure, even if it's not our job, I want to make sure that I'm continually providing a good CMDB to the CMDB owners so the CMDB owners can provide good quality data, data again to the end users, the customers, the consumers. First in order, first and most important is configure that CMDB health dashboard. You want to monitor the completeness, perhaps the compliance and correctness of the data. You want to make sure you have the, the recommended fields. Hey, everybody needs to have a serial number. Everybody needs to have a name. Everybody needs to have um, an ownership group, perhaps. You want to set up that dashboard to do the heavy lifting for you. Because not only can you go through and um, look at the CMDB overall, but you can also get down to the class level. So you can show your Windows administrators, your Windows management team saying, hey, look, I've got 99% coverage of the items I've discovered and or imported that I have ev everything that's expected from these records. Now, beyond that, some of the things that I do when I come in and help my friends out there and I look to look at the quality of CMDB, I do something very basic. Again, horse drawn discovery days. I just go to the computer table, seem to be CI computer, and or the Netgear table, and or the Apple table, the application table. And I just build simple filters. Hey, show me everything that's Discovery Source of Service now, whose most recent discovery was greater than 90 days ago. I do that because that's what the licensing routine is, but 90 days is a good thing. And then the operation, and it's in the operational and or installed state, depending on what focus of the life cycle state that, that you, you like, what attribute of state that your business focus on. So operational installed is what I go off of. And that will allow me to easily see, hey, wait a minute, I've got 3,000 computers that have not been discovered in greater than 90 days. Where did they go? I've got stale data here that somebody needs to deal with, whether it's your job or the CMDB owner's job, your customers are suffering because that you can't be sure that that computer has not just disappeared off the network or somebody um, uh, disabled the VM and didn't tell anybody about it. I'll even go and remove the discovery source because as we know with integrations, that value would be overwritten if I discover a system today and then uh, SCCM service graph connector comes in and says, hey, I am now your discovery source. Um, I am the captain now. Um, so I can remove that to ensure that, hey, wait a minute, I'm making sure that it is valid in, mo in current data within the CMDB. So looking at that holistically allows you to understand, hey, wait a minute, where's this data happening? Do I need to archive it off? Can I remove it? Whatever your auditing or regulatory requirements define. 
I'm a big fan of just archiving it off. Um, but again, you've got to determine that as the best point in your business. Now, I have a link down here. <laughs> and I want to give full faith and credit to my good friend Amir, who did a lot of heavy lifting in this article. Uh, but what we have here is if you don't have a CI lifecycle program in place, uh, we definitely recommend you get everybody taking a look at this because what we did here with this life cycle is we said we gave you a line in the sand. Because we were doing a lot of seem to be review minis during the COVID times and such, and we were finding that a lot of seem to be owners or those responsible for seem to be really didn't have a life cycle program in place, and unfortunately didn't know where to start because it just seemed like a giant elephant. Where do I take the first bite? So we put together this document along with an Excel XML update set that gives you all the parts and pieces to help get you started in managing and maintaining a CI life cycle um, from an onboard of a computer through its life cycle if it disappears and if it needs and when it needs to be retired. Uh, so it's a great story to be told. We have a lot of these pieces out of box. Uh, so definitely look at the docs page around the CMDB CI life cycle. Um, you know, wiping the dust off my own collar here and Amir's collar. They are taking a lot of our bits and pieces that we put together in this document. So find out how they can both work together for you. But really as discovery administrators, the bottom line is we want to make sure that data stays current. We just don't want to, you know, see light push button get treat our discovery schedules are running our job is done no be a part of the bigger picture make sure your end users your consumers your customers are getting good, the good data you're providing and helping the business overall succeed because everything with the cmdb everything we do in service now really revolves around the cmdb and having that good positive data well hope you got a lot out of these series i know they've been quick that's our goal here um Enjoy the videos and hope to see any comp uh, compliments or suggestions to improvements. Appreciate it and be well.